Welcome to the Rivernet Studio Sessions episode 6. Is it 6? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We'll have to check. Well, if it's not 6, then it's maybe seven. welcome anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are you all doing? Um, we'd like to say it's better times, wouldn't we? But it's really not. 2021. <laughs> oh. So here we are, we're, well, we're in proper lockdown, um, like the first one that we had in March through June of 2020. Um, the kids are out of school, and in fact we have three children. Home learning. Home learning. Studio learning. Yeah, behind us, so if we get interrupted, that's why. Um, yeah, so there's quite a lot going on really, isn't yeah. there? A lot that isn't what we're normally doing no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay yeah. and actually it's quite interesting as a parent to have them doing their schoolwork at home and seeing what it is that they're learning and yeah. they've had some zoom lessons with their teachers oh, yeah. and things so yeah, it's yeah. quite interesting with their class and uh, interactions who are just lovely yeah mm. yeah it's quite nice so so it's it's more difficult, but there are some upsides as well, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, what's news? Well, we will be doing the Waltham um, Abbey Wool Show online yeah. on Sunday. This coming this Sunday. This coming Sunday, yeah. So, obviously, it's not safe to meet in person. No. Um, so, they're doing the show at home. From 9 o'clock until... Four, Four or five, or five -ish. Yeah. Yeah, There's lots of um, um, podcasters there, right? Podcasters, exhibitors, designers. Uh, they have a yeah, big they've program. Put a really good program together. Yeah. I think it's the kind of the benefit of having been in this situation for a bit longer now is that um, it be, there's more planning um, going into these events. Mm. So. Yeah, it's a great program. Definitely recommend you go to walthamabbeywoolshow.co.uk um, Get yourself a ticket. They're only £2. And then you get access to all of the... Um, there's an online shopping. Online shopping, with yeah. With exhibitors, including us. So if you want to see us on Zoom and... Yeah, you can dial in from there into Zoom. Yeah. And we will just be there from... I think it's from 9 till, nine till 12, 12. On Sunday morning. You can pop in on Zoom and we will be in the shop. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's happening on Sunday. So we're really looking forward to that. Looking forward to interacting with some of you. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, and the other thing we should mention is that there will be some of our yarns going on sale. So look out for that as well. That will be on Sunday. What else do we have coming up? What else have we been doing? I've drunk a lot of beer. <laughs> um, what else? Can't remember. <laughs> yeah, well, mine's just gone completely blank. Um, so Nen Four Ply, as yeah, Nen Four blah, 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 blah. Nen Four Ply, as you know, is our new uh, sort of stable yarn, and the mini skeins have always been the same base, but. They have been on the old BFL four ply base up until now. We're about we had to, to switch. We had to use up a lot of mini skeins. We had to. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to switch them all over, so we have to dye about a thousand, a thousand <laughs> mini skeins or something, and and I will hand wind them. We will hand wind them. Marcus will do it. Marcus yes. will take care of it. So that would be fun. Right, so that's coming up. So in a little while you'll see that we are switching over. Um, there, we'll probably do some mystery bundles or some nice bundles of the old ones uh, to get to get them cleared out. They're just on the, it's the same as BFL, isn't it? And the only difference it's the yarn construction is a bit nicer, more bouncy yarn. It's a non-superwash yarn, but otherwise the colours will be the same. Oh, the colours won't change, but it's just the yarn base that is changing. Yeah. So it's our fully British spun blue face Leicester non-superwash. Yeah. That and that means too. that we are all our yarn is sourced and spun in the UK. Then. Yep. Yay. Yeah. So that'll yeah. be cool. Um, let's have a chat about our projects. Oh, 
That's well, what we were going to talk yeah, about, that's, isn't it? That's it yeah, and my so, mind went completely blank. I'm, I'm like, still. I know um, we were going to talk about something. I'm still need, uh, knitting my beetle jumper. Here it is. Turn it around so you can see. Yeah, that's better. So, and, and the pattern says 14 inches knitting in the round, and obviously I'm a bit tall, so I measured everything and I have to do another two inches of another knitting inches. in the round, and then I will. So it's not a crop top. Pick up the stitch. No. Oh, no. <laughs> And I will pick up the stitches and knit the <laughs> sleeves straight away. Because spring is coming. Yeah, and you want to wear it before. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no messing around anymore. But uh, you've made fantastic progress yeah, over the Christmas holiday. Actually, didn't yeah, you? it was quite a lot of. Um, you, well, yeah, put yeah. it this way you knitted it quicker than I knitted mine. Yeah. So. Oh, what are you wearing? Yay! I finished it! Finally, it took <laughs> ages. <laughs> oh, so um, yeah, I have finished my prism jumper and the pattern is all written up, ready to go. It's been tech edited, it's been test knitted, um, but I'm just gonna hold off publishing the pattern until we get the new batch of Jacob, um, yeah. the seven, our yeah. seven four ply yarn um we haven't got very much left so i don't want to launch a jumper pattern and you then... want to dye some more if people like the green yeah so but so it uses seven which is the jacob wool and uh two colors of chimera for mm. the color work shall i go a bit closer so they can see <laughs> so i um intended to make myself a nice cozy oversized sweater and i think to be honest i could have done a size smaller you could have, yeah. but never mind well, yeah. well, it's nice is, and cozy it is very cozy so. you can maybe wash it in the washing machine what and shrink then it it? Down no. and... <laughs> i'm not doing that <laughs> oh the other thing that i'm working on let me just put my tea down carefully is some um, crochet yeah and uh, me and my sisters decided to really challenge ourselves and do some mosaic crochet and we're doing it as a crochet along so we've had some funny whatsapp uh, video calls where we've tried to figure out what we're supposed to be doing but here we go it's a raglan jumper um by no, just hold it still i'm just trying to get it around by nomad stitches she, well that's uh, she's called sandra's nomad stitches on instagram Oh, I'll bring that closer as well. So there we are, and for that I'm using the newest colour of Chimera, which is called Rainforest, and I'm using a skein of Aesgarth, which is 100% Wensleydale wool, in the colourway gathering. And there! There we are. So that was a brain stretcher for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it's much easier to rip back crochet, isn't it, than knitting? Yeah, and there has been a lot of ripping back. <laughs> there has been a lot. Um, but I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm understanding yeah. when I come to the next row, like, oh, okay, that's. I can see how the pattern's formed now, whereas in the beginning it was just completely like. I don't yeah. understand. Right, so what else? Anything? Well, I think it's just time to play some tunes. Yeah, let's play some tunes. Yeah, okay. One, two.